Hey guys, this is Allie, and I just have like a about video for you guys. Um, I'm sure someone somewhere on the interweb, inter internet, interwebs, is wondering why I just read Star Wars books. Well, I don't just read Star Wars books, but right now, in this point of my life, I want to read just Star Wars books and Star Wars comics and whatever. I why. The question is why. How do you how do I not get burnt out or I don't know. There this is my answer to that because of the fact that I'm very, very, very picky about my books. Very, 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 very picky. If I'm not interested in a book within a hundred pages, I will stop reading it. Um but with Star Wars, it's like reading fan fiction, in my opinion. And that may be degrading what actually is written, but in my head it is fan fiction. It's fun. When the new movies come out, I don't know what will still be canon and won't be canon. So it's like reading fan fiction for me. Fan fiction comics, fan fiction books, whatever. Um, I'm not picky about my fanfiction, I will read it and I will more than likely hate it because I read really bad fanfics, but, so, um, I'm not, I mean, I get stuck with books, it, that's really obvious because I'm such a slow le reader, um, but I can also get very easily unstuck when it comes to the Star Wars books, once something has piqued my interest once again, I will pick it up again. Um, so I guess the question is how am I not burnt out of Star Wars? Well right now I'm reading Kenobi and I'm also reading, well I'm not currently reading it, but I'm also in the progress of reading Dark Force Rises or Rising and um, the Young Jedi Knight books. And my answer to how I'm not getting burnt out of Star Wars is they're so different. Kenobi is a western. It is true western. Um, my grandpa watches westerns all the time and I hardly ever pay attention to them, but this has some classic elements that you would know and easily recognize as a western just within the first 50 pages if not less. Um, it's not a love story, it's not even really an action story, it's a western. It's There's action and there's sense of romance and there's parenting and there's it has given me a lot of feels. But it is a western story and it's really good. I'm about 200 pages exactly through it now and I will probably be finishing it this week if I have time between writing papers and stuff. So this is just one example of what I'm currently reading. And I'll show you the diverseness, in my opinion, of what I have to read. This is the other book I'm reading, Dark Force Rising. And this is... It's a story, basically, in my opinion, it's a war continuing. It continues after Return of the Jedi. Um, you know the story of the Empire versus the Rebellion, and it's still going on in this story. Obviously, there is romance between Han and Leia. They have twins on the way. There's Luke, um, who is still struggling to become a Jedi, and... There is Mara who wants to kill Luke, and then there's um, Grand Admiral Thrawn who is a perfect strategist and is trying to rebuild the Empire and crush the Rebellion. So that's just one example. Um, this is Dark Tide, book number one, second book in the New Jedi Order series. It is also a war story. Um, I haven't read it yet, but after Vector Prime, it 
obviously is going to be dealing with the loss of Chewbacca in the Solo family, as well as the threat of the Yuzan Vong. So there's that. It's a different war, it's a different generation, but it's still an action story. And we have Republic Commando. I honestly know very little about the series besides the fact that it's clones and the Clone Wars. Um, there's a sticker. Um, so we, it's another, there's a lot of war in Star Wars, obviously, hence the name. Um, it's not the big three, it's not, it's not either of the big three, Obi-Wan, Anakin, or Padme, or Luke, Khan, and Leia. It's the clones. And it's the clones before they got turned into stormtroopers. It's the clones during the Clone Wars. It's the clones... It's just... It's a... It's on a Jedi story. So, I haven't picked it up and read it yet, but I know it's on a Jedi story. It's a war story. It's soldiers. They're not Jedi. They're not invincible. They're soldiers. Then we have Splendor of the Mind's Eye, which is an ultimate universe. Star Wars story. I don't even know if it's canon anymore. I really don't think it is. It's just... It's silly, really. Um, it's what the second Star Wars movie would have been if it was low budget and if Harrison Ford had been signed on. So, it's obviously dated. It's from 1978, but it's just a different story. It's Luke and Leia. It's not Luke, Leia, and Han. It's Luke and Leia and Vader and... I don't even really know. C-3PO and R2-D2 according to the back. Then there's Scoundrels, which I haven't read yet, but I really want to. Obviously this is gonna be a Han, Chewie, and Lando story. I don't even know if Luke or Leia are in it. It's takes place right after A New Hope. Winter's in it because winter is right there. Um, it's Han in his best, really, um, in my opinion. It's a heist story, apparently. Oh, he's trying to get money from the huts. So that's fun. It's not a war story, it's Han trying to get money from the huts. And then we have what is probably going to be what I'm going to be reading for a while. I've already read volume 1 and I want volume 2 in the mail so bad it's not even funny. We have the X-Men comics and then I have an X-Men book over on the bookshelf but I didn't feel like getting up. Um, it's action. It's action-packed. It's also very interesting, to me at least, because there's no Jedi. There's just these soldiers trying to um, fight for the rebellion against the Imperials. It's right after um, Return, Return of the Jedi. People don't believe, some people don't believe that um, Endor even happened. That was one theme, really, that appeared in the first section. So it's these group of pilots that are just fighting their way through the galaxy for the rebellion and still fighting against the Empire. And, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Um, over on the bookshelf, I also have uh, MedStar. And Coruscant Nights and Mad Star, I've been told, is like, like I said in the other video, is like um, MASH within Star Wars. And then Coruscant Nights is, I think, a last Jedi wandering around um, Nar Shaddaa, Shaddaa, I think. So, yeah, that's, or Coruscant, that would probably make sense, Coruscant Nights, Coruscant. My bad. Um, and then the Han Solo trilogy over there, and that's Han Solo coming of age, really. I mean, he's over 18, but he 
is still trying to figure out who he is in the book that I currently have. I haven't read it yet, but it, I believe he meets Chewie. He in, in, enrolls in the Imperial Force, or Imperial Army Academy, whatever the word is, is I'm looking for. Um, so that's, and then he sees the Imperials treat a Wookiee badly, and after his Wookiee foster mom person, he takes that harshly and quits the Imperial Force, so that's fun. That's why I'm not burnt out of Star Wars, because of the fact that it's changing all the time. Well, the books are changing all the time, it's not like I'm reading one specific set of characters all the time. Even the books that are in the series are different characters. As far as I know, I mean, it's all one series, it's all one story, one galaxy, but it's so different and so much fun to read, and I don't, I, I mean, I guess unless you're a Star Wars fan, you can't really appreciate that, but it is entirely different than any other set of books, because you can just go from one story to another, and... It's the same universe and entirely different characters. If you get tired of Luke and Leia and Han, you can jump to the X-Wing pilots, or you can jump to the comic books, the legacy comic books, or the Knight Errant comic books, or the Knights of the Old Republic comic books, or Tales of the Jedi comic books. And it's not just going to be the same story. It's not going to be... Luke, Leia, and Han versus Darth Vader, or Luke, Leia, and Han versus the Imperials, or Luke, Leia, and Han versus Admiral Thrawn, or Luke, Leia, Han, and Mara against the Yuuzhan Vong, or Anakin, Padme, and Obi-Wan against the Separatists. There are so many different stories. They're, they just are so spread out from Obi-Wan being trained as a Padawan to Anakin being trained as a Padawan to Han and Leia's kids being Padawans. And that's two set that's two series of books. And then there's the X Wing pilots. There's comic books upon comic books of just minor stories and characters and they all are intertwined somehow. Like I had to look up something in Kenobi that I won't spoil, but it I mean it's there's a reference to a comic book that I've never even read. And a character I've never even heard of, but apparently he has a massive storyline in um, Star Wars Republic. And it's collected in an omnibus that I really want now because I want to know what the story is. Um, there's all kinds of stories. There, I mean, that's why Star Wars is so popular because it's so massive. It's so diverse, it's so whatever, it's just different. If you read Harry Potter, you're going to be reading about Harry Potter. Um, I mean, it's, it's very similar, in my opinion, to Doctor Who. I mean, it's, same, it's the same Doctor, but it's different companions, it's the same universe. It's just different stories, it's different characters, different personalities, different times, different whatever. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of mini rant. <laughs> um, 15 minutes practically worth. Um, so, if I finish reading Kenobi by this weekend, I will have a review up. Um, I do have a lot of practicum coming next Tuesday. But hopefully I'll be able to read and all that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys probably in my next video, which will be Kenobi Review. So see ya.